So I was just going through this nuke here, and I thought I'd show you uh, just a proud moment. This is one of the queens that I grafted. She was uh, open mated here at my place. Uh, she was grafted from a overwintered VSH queen from last year. And I was going through it. And it's just nice to see when you have some success, you know. I had a lot of queens not come back mated this year. So this is a frame of nectar. This is a foundation frame that they're drawing out. Next frame in. You got some brood here. This is all larva. Same thing on this side. Makes you super happy when you see them successful like this. Uh, next frame in. Pretty much an entire frame of cat brood both sides so she's getting ready for an expansion here she is right here there's queen Oop, she took off she's apparently camera shy there she is right there I hate when they're on the edge like that when you're trying to put a frame back. There she goes. Now she's in the middle. So, yeah, just cool to see. I'm going to use this particular hive for another reason. I'm going to put a uh, super on here. What I'm going to do is uh, combine two nukes with one super. I've done this before. I've had success. I actually got a ton of a ton of honey off of it. And uh, we're getting ready to we're hitting a pretty pretty good part of our flow right now. So what I'm gonna do is grab the other nuke down here and slide it down and then uh, put a honey super on there with a queen excluder. I'll be right back. So what I've got here is two nuke hives. Got the green one on the left the uh, orange polka dot one on the right. What I'm gonna do is slide these two together, kind of split the difference between the two, and turn this into a honey making machine. So I've got a honey super here with an excluder and a little board to block the, uh, the gap. I'll show you that in a minute. So I've done this technique before. It's not, it's not new, it's nothing exclusive to me. I learned it from other beekeepers. But uh, it works great. So you take two nukes. It's a uh, perfect time to do this. It's right in the middle of the honey flow. Uh, slide them together and let the two colonies work together to fill a super. So let me show you that real quick. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just kind of split this difference. So we'll slide this one that way. We'll slide this one over here. Just kind of line them up. It helps when they're the same kind of nuke. Both of these are uh, same nukes made by by Daydant, so they they line up nicely. All right, so now we grab my excluder. All right, so what I do now is I put an excluder on. And I cheat it as far to the edge here as I can. But we still have a gap here. And I'll fill that here in just a minute. And we're going to take our honey super, put it right on there. And it starts to look something like that. We just need to clean these up a little bit. I'm running nine frames in a 10 frame box. That way they can draw it out. So these are combs that had honey in them last year. Wow, I just looked down and saw the queen on the lid. 
Man, am I glad I saw her. Let me get her back inside. Thought she was going to run into the other box. You hear people talking about queens on lids, but I rarely see it. And then, of course, right there, she's just hanging out on the lid. All right, well, she's back in the box. Put the honey super on, straighten it out. Space them out just a little bit, make them look good. We can get some nice fat comb. So my microphone overheated and it's all staticky right here. So I'm just gonna voice over this little section. Um, keeping in mind that there's this little gap right here. You need to put something on that to cover it. What I do is just put a little piece of wood on there. Uh, this particular piece of wood is just the side piece of a uh, shim board that I didn't put together yet, but you can just set that on there, kind of any direction that you want, and the bees will propolize it down. Uh, usually within about a day or two, they'll completely glue that down and uh, take care of that problem for you. So you got two nukes, one super, each one of these hives has their own independent queen. You do get some drift sometimes, but generally speaking, the bees kind of stick to their own queen. Um, last year I had did this and I had a situation where the queen on the right, that colony went queenless and the bees on the left actually filled the super and the nuke on the right with honey, which was kind of interesting. So. All right, so check back in in a couple weeks. I'll do a follow-up video. We'll see how this thing's going. Um, I have done this in the past. I've got videos on it. If you're interested in checking them out, you can see how uh, successful this can be. And, uh, of course, thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody. Sorry about the sound at the end. I hope everybody's having a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care.